Hi folks, um, it is Thursday the 9th of August, it's 20 to 5 in the afternoon. The boys aren't here, they've got a trip with their holiday club today to the same place we took them to the other week, the Magda in Sheffield. Um, so they're probably thoroughly sick of the sight of the place, but um, I didn't think they were booked on it, but it turns out them just being booked into holiday club means they were going. So, because they said it was full, I didn't realise they meant it was full, including my boys. Hey ho, I'm sure they'll have a good time. Um, so I've been to work, been to my sister's. I dropped off a blanket I made for my friend's baby. Did I show you? I'm sure I did. I made it ages ago and I can't remember what blanket I did. I honestly can't think. It wasn't a granny. Was it a granny stripe maybe? But I did it in the lollipops cakes. If I find, I'll find the video and put it in. I can't. I can't. My brain doesn't work. Um, but yeah, um, I finally dropped that off today. I didn't tell her I was going. I, I sort of thought because if I say I'm going, that something will happen and I won't go. So I just turned up with it and had a quick hello, uh, and then went to my sister's. And I've just got back, and I'm going to do a bit of crocheting because I've been crocheting all the time. I was at my sister's. I was like, do you mind if I crochet? She went, no. Um, so this is Jack's blanket. It's coming on. It. This is. One second. I've got a very flat cake left. Um, so this has not done a great deal for one cake um, because it's quite thin. So I was thinking. I ordered khaki, uh, just khaki DK, when I ordered this. Um, thinking I would do granny squares and edge them in this. So what I might do is do a, um, do a ball or half a ball or at least this much in, hopefully, in the khaki, then go back to the cakes, go back to the striping. Um, I'll see how Jack feels about it, but I don't want to get through three cakes because this has been a lot of work and it not be very big. So, because it's on a four mil, it's quite a, say quite a thin yarn. So what's that? Probably six inches. It's long, or wide, but yeah, I want it big, and I don't really want to buy any more cakes because it's not. It's lovely and soft. It is really nice. It's just not the most fun to work with. It just doesn't work out very quick compared to the other wool, or the yarn, which I did in that blanket, which I love. Um, my order came today. I'll prove <laughs> I only ordered three cakes. So, poor little empty looking box. So this is shade four, those two, and this is shade ten. Sure. So three cakes to go back into Tobin's blanket. And then I'll show you what else I've been working on. Because I decided to have a little blanket break last night and I've started making up a Timothy for my nephew for his birthday um, in using the Super Saver Stripes um, that Denise sent me. Hi Denise, thank you. Um, yes, so doing a Timothy the T-Rex. Uh, I am using one of my old hooks, four and a half mil, because I was doing it on a four and it just looked too tight. So I went up to a four and a half and I think a five would be too big because my stuffing's very firm. So that's that. Um, I love how it's striping. It's so cool. So cool. Um, so yeah, I need to do some more on that. But I was just, I didn't take it with me to my sister's. I didn't take it swimming. No, I started it after swimming yesterday. Um, so that's probably only like an hour's work, if that. No, less than an hour. Half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. While the kids were watching telly before I took them to bed last night. And then I thought I'm just going to take the blanket upstairs and work on that. I'm very tired at the minute. So I was like sitting upstairs crocheting and I don't know if it's just monotony of a blanket. I was like, mm. tired. Um, yes, so that's all my waffle. I don't know when I'll get this uploaded. Because I'm in no mad rush to sit on the laptop and do it. I sit at the laptop, not on the laptop. Yeah, I want to enjoy... 15, 20 minutes before Paul gets home and then probably going to wait for the kids. I'll go fetch them and then we'll have tea. 
I'm hungry now though. <laughs> um, yes. And then I'm going to the gym tomorrow after work and I've got, I'm changing my plan with my trainer. So that should be fun. It's been two for ages and because my trainer, my, the one I had before left, I, I'm not as enamoured with the other one. I'm sure it's, it's lovely. He's always nice when I talk to him, but he's just not. You could talk to Dwayne, you know, properly just talk to him. Um, whereas Luke looks like he'd, I'd scare him. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, he'll be fine. Um, so yes, I'm going to go and start waffling. And then I need to catch up on some videos because well, I'm behind. And the kids were up this morning. I had to get them ready early to take them to the holiday club early so they could get on the coach and stuff. I don't get to watch any videos. Outrageous. I'll catch up with you anon, maybe when Tobin's blanket's finished. I kind of want to get on with that now. I love it. Anyway, um, stay well and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hi everybody. Um, I am planning on tacking this on the end of uh, the mini yarn haul I filmed the other day because I've still not got it uploaded. Okay. Um, yeah, so, since I got that wool, what day did I get that? Wednesday? Thursday? Wednesday, I'm not sure. Um, I have put one... Okay, so, I put one of the cakes in already, one of the blue ones. So this is where I joined in. So it's done me, what, one, two, three... Three rows. Not much because it's getting big and this is how much of the yellow one I've got left and then I've got the one more blue and done. So it is big, 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 big. Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> it's big. Um, yeah, it's a eh, good size. Uh, if I'm slightly glowing blue, I dyed my hair yesterday. It needs washing again today to get some of the blue off my scalp, but I just don't really care today. We were supposed to be having a barbecue and it's rained and been horrible, so we, we cancelled it yesterday. Um, so we didn't even, you know, attempt because um, we saw the weather forecast and it was like, you know what, and it's not even, you know, bother. We'll just call it, you know, a loss and we'll do something else at a later date that's not weather dependent. So. That's that. It's getting quite heavy now, <laughs> but it'll be a good size. Um, I haven't done any more work on uh, Timothy the T-Rex that I'm doing for my nephew. Not been in an amagurumi mood. I've been so tired this week since we got back from the beach. I've just been absolutely shattered. Uh, I changed my plan at the gym on Friday, so I've gone back to two two workouts instead of four I had it split down to and it was just two I never really settled with them I've had it for ages and I've been doing them but and particularly enjoy them um so I've gone back to two you can see my fingers are blue from doing my hair my nails whoops um yeah so I, I'm my hamstrings that's they still hurt from Friday Ow. kettlebell um straight leg deadlifts I didn't like them when I used to do them before. They're good. They, they are good, but woof, do you feel them? So um, I don't know when I'm, I'm going to have to go after work this week because my sister's watching the boys for me. Um, so I, I can't very well you know, watch my kids for a few more hours while I go to the gym. Um, today, instead of going out, we went, uh, instead of going to uh, father in law's, we just went and did um, food shopping at Asda today. So I didn't have to rush and do it yesterday. Um, bumped into my dad, said hello, uh, and then we were looking at work shirts for Paul, and they didn't have any of the type he liked, as did. They usually have like one twin pack, and they replace it with a different colour each season, but they hadn't, didn't have any at all. Um, I said, well, we could always go and look in Derby. Um, he's bought a few shirts from Primark, and they've been okay it's a fairly cheap for, for those of you outside the UK I don't think you get Primark but it's a it's a fairly cheap clothing uh, store 
and we buy sort of jogging bottoms and pan, you know boxer shorts and stuff for the kids. Um, I don't particularly buy my clothes from there. I've never really tried their trousers or not. Oh, I think I had a pair when I went to download with my sister. That was in 2005. It's the last time I bought trousers from there. Um, but I'm very funny with getting trousers to fit me and it's not my favourite thing trying on trousers so I don't tend to see where, you know, to try out different shops and see where suits me. I just, if I find somewhere like I buy a couple of pairs because I don't like it. It's traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, um, but I like their, I buy their tights and uh, socks, I bought some lovely socks. So I've treated myself today to a massive five pounds worth of tights and there were five pairs of socks for a pound. Can you hear my children shouting? Um, and a candle. So I spent five pound on myself today. Woo! I went in lush and didn't spend any money. Quite tempted to, at some point, get their... Um, shampoo bars um, and then just have them in a tin and there's no waste, uh, no plastic waste. Um, I may do that down the line and they do a dry, like a, a it's not even a roller, it's like a rub-on uh, deodorant um, and I was looking for those but I didn't see it and I didn't want to get involved talking to a member of staff because as lovely as they are they don't let you leave and um, you know Paul's outside going because yeah, he hates it, he won't go in, hates the lush stinks and the talk out yet so I love Lush. Uh, we had some got some I had some dream cream they got the pots on put the, the dream cream on my hand hands because that is brilliant for eczema prone skin. I used to buy the King of Skin um like bar and then the dream cream because Jack used to have really bad eczema on his tummy um and it was fantastic you know and it's it's not chemicals it's all natural and um most of it's vegan friendly and stuff like that. So I do I do recommend that for eczema, the king of skin and uh, dream cream. It's beautiful. It's a bit dear, but it's nice. Um, I'm waffling. Yeah, so we went there, <laughs> went to Derby. Paul got some shirts. The kids got boxer shorts and socks. And Tevin got two new pairs of jogging bottoms because he's decided to grow a bit again. So trousers he put on the other day didn't fit him. I was like, oh no. Uh, excuse me, however, both of them, I've tried school trousers on them because obviously we're looking at buying a new uniform for the new school year starting at the beginning of September. I have some four to five trousers, age four to five trousers for Jack. He put them on and they are massive. So he will be going into year two, which is his third year of school, in his age three to four trousers still. So I'm not going to buy him any more. Um, I'll double check all the pairs he's got. If they're particularly ratty, I might buy him a new, a couple of new pairs. But I don't want to be buying more trousers in the same size because it, at some point he will grow out of them. So I'll, I'll save the money and, and buy him a new set then. Um, and same with Tobin. He's in eight to nine trousers now, I think. Yes, just gone into eight to nine. So I, I held up the nine to tens, and they're like up here on him, you know. So. <laughs> Doesn't, doesn't need any Simon Cow trousers. They will need new jumpers, um, but of course our Asda had absolutely none, and I'd really like to try them on just to make sure they actually need a bigger size. His Jack's old jumpers cannot be carried forward because they are in a state absolute mess. Um, so yeah, I need to buy those, and I've already bought the shirts. I'll need to buy new shoes. I got. Tobin a pair of jogging bottoms for PE today um, and they'll need and Tobin will need a new hoodie like a zip up top for outdoor PE got him new t-shirts so I could get away with a relatively cheap um, uniform shop but the, the, it, they'll need it through the year and I'm sure they'll need new coats and you know everything the things you think you've got away with you end up having to buy something else is more expensive so you I never tend to gain anyway really long waffle about nothing sorry this blanket I took it with me to work on this is Jack's blanket in um, the army boy Armoni roll it's really soft I don't think I'm going to carry on with it I don't know I'm just I had to start 
boiling up the cake in the car because it got tangled and it had all fallen apart. I just don't really like working with it. And this pattern's nice and it looks nice and everything, but that's nearly a whole cake. Three cakes is not going to get me very far. And I was going to add the car key in that I bought, but it's thicker and just just it's not it's not what I had in mind it's not going to plan so rather than keep working on it and being grumpy about it I'm going to stop working on it so this one will go into a naughty corner or something so I will reclaim my four mil hook I'll go back in back I think because I'm enjoying this one so much it really highlights that I'm not enjoying this one so have a plan i'm still on the squeaky chair on the farty chair it's not me i promise excuse me see it's not me i can replicate it so it's definitely not me um do you remember this james c brett marble chunky that i bought not this april last april it was just after my birthday they had the knitting machine there we go like a knitting loom no it's not that the knitting machine uh, expo thing in the hall of our gym uh, over the leisure center and i've got five balls of it and these are 200 grams uh, balls 200 grams and what 312 meters 341 yards and it's the most chunky patterns i said to jack would you like a purple blanket yeah that was easy. <laughs> I thought there'd be more of a um, protest, but he wants corner to corner. Five balls, two balls up, two balls down, and well, two and a bit balls up, two and a bit balls down, and then a couple of rows for a border, all in the same colour. This is MC. I was thinking about it the other day. Who got some James C. Brown? It was Jan, I think, too. Hi, Jan. Um, I was really enjoying Jan's um, live last night. I got there 10 minutes late because I was watching Ruthie's video. I was like, I'll just squeeze it in and then I watched it all. Um, so hi Ruthie. And then I was chatting to Jan and I was having a right good waffle. I was probably taking up all the chat. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then I had to go because it was telly time. She makes me laugh. She goes, are you going to watch telly with your husband? I'm like, yes, that's how exciting every night is. Not just my Saturday night, every night. Friday nights too. Um, but it's our, our sort of system, it works well. The kids go to bed by, well, we tell Tobin lights off at 20 past eight and then half past nine, we go, you know, we come downstairs and watch telly together. In the dark, in silence, it's it's wonderful together time. <laughs> don't talk to each other, don't look at each other, just focus on the telly for an hour and go to bed. <laughs> What's the secret to your relationship? We don't talk to each other very much. It's very good, it works, it works well for us. It's fine, I'm taking the mic um, out of myself. Colour on this one is MC15. So yes, uh, Jan was mentioning some James C. Brett baby... Was it baby marble or something? And I thought, I really should do something with my marble DK. What have I made with this before? Oh, I made Jack a hat and um, mittens and... Was... Yes, I did make Jack a hat with it, didn't I? The mittens were Tobin's and then they went to Jack and then I think I've made like uh, wrist warmers for a friend of mine. But yeah, this worked out at, I think I paid £20 for the five balls, so £4 a ball, which most places I think you get it for 5 50 or something like that. So it will be nice to get it used. I don't ever think I'm going to make myself anything out of it. I, I just bought it because it was, ooh, I've not seen this colour before. It's very pretty purples and blues and... It's lovely, so I might make a start on this because I can never remember how to do the start. So I should check Mikey's video and then I should be away working it up probably at the same time as this. I love this, I love this blanket, I really do. I'm, I said to Toby, I think I should have this blanket. No, I was like, but I like it. So I get to test out one of my big hooks that Denise sent me. Maybe six, six and a half. Is that the gold one or the green one? Remember. But I get to play with my new hooks as well and to play with a yarn that I really like and don't get to use it as often as I like because I don't really work with chunky stuff a lot. But I do now. And it will be a massive difference from 
I've got I used a five mil with this, and then I went back to a four mil with this, and it's just too too thin, I think. But it's lovely and soft when it's worked up. It is great. So it's a bit of a shame, but I'm just I'm not feeling it. So I need to stop. Stop feeling it. <laughs> You're not feeling it. Stop it. Stop it. It's not me. It's the chair. Honestly. Right. So I'm gonna go because my watch is gonna beep in 15 seconds to tell me that the chicken needs to top cutting off, and I need to peel some potatoes because it's raining, so I can have roast potatoes. And I bought cauliflower and broccoli. So I'm going to smell delightful tomorrow, aren't I? <laughs> Chicken, broccoli, cauliflower. Anyway, I will love you and leave you. Uh, thank you as always everyone for watching and liking and commenting. I need to perhaps look through my comments and see if there's any I've not replied on. There probably is, because I'm rubbish. But thank you. Um, thanks to everyone who is doing uh, vlogist or vlogist. I always want to call them vlogist. It's vlogist, isn't it, really? Um, I'm debating whether I should vlog every day in September and then maybe have October off, possibly do November, not do December, because I think December would be a horrible because of Christmas. But I am, so far, sticking to my guns about not doing a Christmas fair. I perhaps need to... Um, I don't know. I don't know if school would be expecting me to do it because I do summer. Um, I don't know if I would in a way let them down for not doing it but I don't I want to make presents and stuff because that always makes Paul happy when I say I'm going to make people presents he goes ugh because he'd rather just spend money on stuff I think he just thinks it's an excuse to buy on but it's not, It's I think making presents is nice I really like making people blankets but I'd want to buy cakes to do it but this is <laughs> saving money I mean these, these cakes were on offer when I bought them but yeah. Anyway, um, I will go now, like I said, sort the chicken out, start the taters, I've done the ironing. I'm going to go sit. Well, I've had a lovely 15 minutes sat down chatting to you, talking at you. Um, there are a couple more channels I've been watching that I need to talk about, so I will make note of them and get the links and everything, and I'll talk about that in my next video, which will probably be when I finish the blanket, which shouldn't be too much longer, and I can show you a start on this. I'm all excited now for that. It's good. It was, this is exciting me. The army boy wasn't. It's, it's no particular reflection on the wall. It's just not. It's not working. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go rescue my chicken and get on with the Sunday lunch. It's four o'clock, so I need to get the roasters in the oven, really, don't. I? Oh no! If it's a late dinner, it'll be like, where are the roast potatoes? <laughs> anyway. They're worth waiting for. Um, so I'm sending you virtual um, roast dinner, yummy smells. Uh, yeah, I will. Did I say it's Sunday? It's Sunday, thirteenth <laughs> of August. Yes, thirteenth of August. Uh, no, it's not. It's the twelfth because it's my sister-in-law's birthday tomorrow. It's the thirteenth. God, I'm going before it gets any worse. Um, I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.